Yo, what up? It's the Freethinkers Association here with the special Freethinkers versus. It's gonna be me versus my good buddy Lane. How are you doing today, Lane? I'm doing pretty good. About to get sponge snared from coast to coast. About to get hit with a bunch of stuff right before the patches start to come out. You know. Yes, we gotta have some fun before uh, the Switch version actually gets fixes. So true. I hope. I really do hope this game's patch philosophy isn't isn't that strong. I hope that even the strongest of changes don't drastically impact the game because I really do like where it's at right now. I think this game is super fun. Yeah. Besides Mikey, I mean. Yeah. Well, fuck that character. <laughs> Ang also. Ang's pretty pretty good. Ang could get gutted. I wouldn't care. But. April is. Uh, very fair and very honest. Yeah, she's super. She, yeah, she just, just, just the most <laughs> honest character. SpongeBob also is a pretty honest character. Absolutely, he's the most honest of the top tiers. I think I've heard a lot of people say, and I, I tend to agree with that sentiment. I don't think that's untrue, but that is. Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, 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 I, I wall I jumped on accident. I should have just ledge grabbed. <laughs> I should have just held the ledge. Nice. Her down air is so fast. I use it like basically. It's it's like it's like Steve's down air. <laughs> you just use it to get out of disadvantage sometimes. Oh. So anyway, what's going on? What's been going on with you recently, my dude? Uh, today I went out to an RV park and had to redo some wires because apparently nobody tests their wires, even if they're a network engineer. So I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Shoddy work, but that means money for me. Right. It doesn't matter if everybody else sucks if you can profit off of it. True chains. Ooh, come I'm on, I'm kill, alive. kill. Oh, you use the vector canceler. I still, I'm trying to figure that out. Ooh. Ooh, ah, that was an accidental attack. Nice. Oh my god. I'm red. First save replay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Not like you need to, you got everything recording over it already. True. Hmm. Everyone's talking about Squid Game. God, my parents are trying to get me to watch that. Not with them necessarily, but they watched Just it in while, general, while yeah. they were on vacation. I, again, I haven't seen it yet myself either. I'll definitely probably talk about it if I do. Yeah. But... Yeah. I'm just so I'm so uninterested. <laughs> I think what the, the fuck is a Squid Game anyway? What a shitty name. Like, uh, it's it's I watched like the first minute of the show maybe, and it, it has something to do with it, the name of something uh, a kid's children's game in uh, in Korea. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah. According to the show, I don't I don't know if that's like an actual thing in Korea, uh, maybe, or if that's just like just, a thing for the I, show. I, I guess it's a thing because there's like six. How many? How many? How many arms? How many limbs does a squid a have? A squid? They have six. Yeah. Six? Okay. Yeah. There's like six different lanes. Or, or octopus like... or eight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they both cephalopods? I think they're both cephalopods. Though. I I don't know. Which what of makes... them is like human I... in intelligence? Uh, is it octopus? I think really both are very smart, but o octopi, octopuses tend to be octopuses. regarded as extremely smart. I wanted to down air that so bad. I got oh, you Oh, I'm not mixing up at all. Damn. And you really need to get the hang of using my recovery options. The turning point for me was when we went to Chili's and uh Oh my god. <laughs> there was a bunch of teenagers sitting down. Oh god bless. Uh, they, the fucking they the waiter came up and they're like, "Hey, uh, you know what uh, Squid Game is? <laughs> and the waiter was like, have, wait, the waiter was like, what? what? Yeah. And you're like, have you seen Squid Game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you give me that thing? It's like the thing in Squid Game. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, it. <laughs> when people see an Asian person, oh my God, it's just like Squid Game. <laughs> 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 they see somebody from Korea, they're like, holy shit, holy shit Squid Game. <laughs> Koreans are real. <laughs> Squid Game IRL. Squid Game IRL. Uh. Uh, red light, green light? Yeah. Three, two, one. Me when I barely run a red light. Oh my god, this is just like Squid Game. Me me when I break traffic laws. I'm just an <laughs> officer. I was just officer, I was game. just doing Squid Game stuff. I was doing it for, for the vine. 
<laughs> oh god, I haven't heard that in forever. Is TikTok still a thing? Like, it's kind of Oh, a yeah, thing. absolutely like, it is. it's still a thing. Dude, my brother is... A TikToker? He is a TikToker. Wait, he... seriously? Yes! <laughs> you would not expect it, but it's just... Oh my god. Like, like, He's like, he Lane, a... you should get a TikTok, and I'm like... Is he a, uh, is he a tiktok -y or a TikToker? Like, like, does he, He's like... made a couple. Okay. You know, I had a TikTok for a while. Really? I, I, yeah. That's, that's surprising. I oh used my. it for fighting in tutorials. The chomp. That was uh, the point of my. That's knife. right. Yeah. I started the TikTok because I, I was I like, uploading FGC that. tutorials and stuff. I mo I mostly did some stuff for Street Fighter Five and got really really sick of the platform, so I stopped using it. But yeah, yeah. I'm a fucking idiot. Thanks. But, <laughs> but like, it's an okay platform for creators. It I know it gates a lot of stuff off until you're a higher creator. But like, wait, really? Yeah. What platform doesn't though? Like, you can't use the uh, TTS voice until you're, like... You, early YouTube used to be really great for that, in terms of, like... Yeah, early YouTube, but... Everything being, like, seemingly egalitarian. Oh, I... Yeah, I don't have any more resources. I would be... That, I wish you had the tiny bit more, because that would have been so cool. The theory, though... Why, so you could chomp the me theory. off the stage? The theory was so cool. I was gonna hit the down strong in the air after you popped up from the bubble. I threw diagonal down. Uh, okay. It would have been strong. It would have been cool. Speaking of strong and cool, there's no fighting games out right now. At least it doesn't feel like. Nasby. <laughs> Nasby yeah, yeah, and. Nasby, uh, but... Man, yeah. What else is there? I know KOF is coming out soon. Yeah. I'm vaguely interested, because I've never played a KOF from release, right? It's weird to me that they keep, uh, like, showing off characters like a Smash reveal, when it's, like, not that kind of game. I don't know, they, like, keep drip-feeding characters. Well, it's like a... it kind of is. Well, actually, it literally is. Do you, K, KOF is... In terms is of the, crossovers? Yeah, KOF is a crossover of all of SNK's properties. Okay. That's why, like, Homaru from Sam Show's in it. Terry is from... not a KOF character, he's a Final Fight character. Or Fatal Fury. Yeah, I was Final like, Fight. Final Fight. I was, I was like, like, that's yeah, a Capcom not, not game. Capcom, not Capcom. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like a Fatal Fury character, and he's super popular, super important in KOF. Because KOF is like a continuation of uh, Fatal Fury. I see. But yeah, that's SNK's big crossover. For a lot of people, it is, it is like Smash, you know? It's like... KOF is like if Capcom decided that Street Fighter was no longer their main fighting game franchise. Weird. And they started focusing on like crossing well, so over everything. So what was SNK's main? Fatal Fury, technically. But okay, they okay, yeah. They Fatal also Fury. have like well over like 30 fighting game franchises, though. Like, they've done so many. That's why KOF's rosters are so fucking gigantic. Because hmm. it's so many characters from their legacy. And their legacy is. I'm dead. Their legacy is super big. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, they got Sam Show, KO, uh, not KOF, uh, well, Fatal yeah, KOF, Fury. Fatal Fury. Yeah, holy shit, that killed. Wow, that's uh, the first time I've got one of those. I, I know they have more. Art of Fighting. I know they have so much more. I'm embarrassed, I can't remember right now. But, like, the main thing I had play on the Neo Geo is Windjammers. Windjammers is an SNK game? Kinda. It's a Data East game. Didn't that just get, like, a... a what, what was Four the... years ago. Yeah, yeah, there's, there was, like, a, a reboot, re-release. Yeah, four years ago, there was an announcement of a sequel. And the sequel is going to be Switch exclusive. But then Google bought the rights to it. Wait, so, what the fuck? So I... now it's going to be on Google Stadia, PS4, and Switch. What about the limited run release? That's Gunjammers 1. Oh, that was That's, just a straight up yeah, uh, that is a, like, re release. That port. is a re release of Gunjammers 1. Weird. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that was such an old franchise. I... It's a. Uh, Cause it... I, I literally only knew about it from LRG when, when we both worked at the. Uh, at Game Trade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, yeah. Are, can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. We can say the name of the company. Okay. Well, I feel That's like. Fine. We, yeah. It's like we're we're Texas based. It's no big deal. Like, we're in Texas. That's the fun part. Ooh. But yeah. Ooh. 
That's they made so us grimy. sign like an NDA though, so <laughs> I don't know what else I can say. <laughs> that I, was I didn't sign one. Even if I did, come after me. Your company's gone under already. I don't know, dude. In terms of like how they're gonna do, they're 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 transforming into something different. It's sad seeing. It's like it's turning into something else, go right? Away, but like, a lot of that's what a lot of retro video game stores are doing now. Like a lot of retro video game stores are just like if the market just sucks. Yeah. Like go on eBay, you know. Yeah, you would think that they would do better, but sadly they just don't have a lot. Of, <laughs> almost, almost. Oh no. <laughs> They sadly just don't get enough business. So, yeah. it's like, I get it, making the shift where most of them are going to cards, but... Yeah, yeah. I don't like it. I don't play card games. Yeah. There's like one good card game. Hey, there's like two or three. <laughs> Magic is not the only good card game. I love Listen, Dragon Ball. Magic Gathering, their recent design decisions also have just been... I don't know. I, I started playing for anyone who actually plays Magic the Gathering. I played originally in Cons of Tarkir, that block when that got started, and Theros was just being cycled out. But uh, it was a lot of fun. It's still a fun game, I think, but creatures have just become insanely powerful. I mean, they've always been really, there have always been some good creatures, but like early Magic, it was just spells. Like, you only played spells, and like, maybe you would have a creature or two in your 60 card deck. I can't tech to save my damn life, dude. Teching in this game is so hard. Cameron, Cameron texts like it's nobody's- Nah, no way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Cameron's gotten so good at teching, because he was playing Lincoln versus Spongebob. That is a hilariously bad matchup, because we're the same character, but one of us wins games. And the other one's Lincoln. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, nice save. But yeah, like KOF's coming out, and then fighting games, it's like, Harada's been talking, and I, that's exciting. With uh, Sora Limited and. Sora? Somewhat relevant. <laughs> with Sora Limited and Bandai being done with Smash now, as of today, like. Final Are they though? Are they really done? <laughs> yeah, at least for a couple years. Yeah. S Sakurai has already started saying, yep, I'm actually not developing anything right now, lol. All good here. It's like, I, uh, I have my doubts that Sakurai is going to stop being in the developer chair for a while for something. I'm hoping this can open up the door to some of the other franchises he works on. Uh, other franchise, I guess, singular, with that being Kid Icarus. Because the Kid Icarus on Switch would be awesome. Because that game did not get the did not get the justice it deserved by being on the 3DS. Yeah, 3DS was a, a cool uh, cool console, but uh, twin for stick people shooters? like you with giant hands, okay, it's yeah, like, but like it's impossible. Here's the thing: it's a twin stick shooter that also was a character action game. Yeah. The, on the 3DS, I'm shocked it stayed at the 60 FPS that it did. Yeah. But like that game fucking sucked to play. That and if you bought if you had a new 3DS or you bought like the Circle Pad Pro, like the extra Circle Pad, it didn't use it. It just added like a left hand mode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Circle Pad Pro more useless Nintendo accessories. I mean, the only game that it was used for was uh Port of Twin Snakes. Yeah, that's right. They had a uh, yeah. Metal Gear. I'm so sad I keep missing that. Don't read my roll, you bitch. You keep doing it after you tag. I know. Like 90% of the time, and then you kind of stopped briefly, but you're start you started it again. That was the worst air dash of all time. Ooh, that was so come bad. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I... <laughs> No, let me go. Oh, I had your ass. I knew. Oh, I thought. Oh, no. Oh, that bubble could have gone bad. You fool. No. Yeah, Kid Icarus on the Switch. I'd buy that. Absolutely. Because that's such a cool series. And the writing for Uprising was so cool. There's so many cool characters that got added. I think the series has a lot of potential. 
and they've just never done anything with it. I also want Codename Steam to come back. Yeah, that, that's a game that I have never played, but I saw like plenty of copies in our, our store. It just never got advertised. Nobody it, like no nobody could ever tell me what it was about, you know? It was I mean, just like, yeah, besides me. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I never fucking yeah, yeah. played it. Like, I, I've heard the gameplay was a bit of a slog, Ooh. but like that doesn't matter too much when you're doing a sequel, right? Like, you can just fix that. Yeah. Because I don't think there's anything fundamentally wrong with the concept. So what, like, I remember there being like some elements of historical fiction yeah, it's being like involved a, in that like game. Yeah, it's like XCOM. It's like XCOM, steampunk, but all the characters are from literature. What the hell? It's so... And then, it's like, such a bizarre concept, yeah. And like, Abraham yeah. Lincoln's like the guy commanding you and shit. And he's like in a big mech suit or whatever. Yeah. It's, and it's you're fighting aliens. Wait, he's in a mech? Yeah. Abe Lincoln in a mech? <laughs> yeah, Ava, Ava, he has, I don't remember what they called it. Ava? Funny. Yeah. Ava? Oh, I'm so sick. No, you're not coming back. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I got away with it. Yeah, that was foolish of me. I agree. Just you wait till I stop autopiloting. You're done for. Woo! Who said I'm not autopiloting? Can I have to when I'm talking? Oh no. That's okay, you can do both. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, it's. Oh no, it's no parry. Quiet. I would say it's been kind of slow oh. for video games. It's like, that's not true. I just play things really fast. True. Yeah. After Dread, you're you're done with Dread for a little while at least. Well, not really, because Hello Future. This up. This is going to be uploaded a little bit later. But the first long series we're going to complete for the podcast is going to be Dread. Wait, really? Yeah. The first one we're doing is just uh, Dread. You mean Metroid in general? No, we're just doing Dread. That's the first. That's the you first said game we're playing. Series, though. Oh yeah, I know. I meant like series for the channel, like series of episodes. Oh, okay. Where the first thing we're doing is Dread. So we'll have completed that by the time that this goes up. Oh, I didn't tech once, and I am almost dead, but not. His ah, uh, his recovery. It's, it's like so K roll, but like worse. It's so good. It's uh, K roll, but like better. I meant worse as in. <laughs> <laughs> More annoying to deal with. I just have to spike you with other ways, though. Yeah, Nick like, All Star Ball is a fun game. What's up? It's just such a fun game. It is a very fun masher. Masher? It is a mashy game. What do you mean? It's a mashy game. It's not. A Doesn't mean it's a bad game. It just means you press a lot of buttons. I don't press any buttons. Okay, I'm, bud. I think ever. I think about it. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Two minutes ago, I'm on autopilot. <laughs> Every button is calculated oh my God. from both I I, Grabbing in the air and whiffing it, I think that that leaves you with a lot of. Come on, come on, down air, come out. Nope, nope. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. That's rough, buddy. Oh, I'm dead. No, you're not. Okay, I claim because no, my nair is awesome. April has to think about some of her combos, you know? Yeah, she's, she's <laughs> just such a weak character. True. Yeah, I just won't tag. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been... It's been really nice being able to play Dread. I I like that game a lot. I'm excited for wherever our series takes us on the channel. Uh oh. I mean, I could do a million playthroughs of Dread and never ever get tired of it. I just I love that game. Love that game to death. It's definitely on one of my. T it's I did. I've started making a backlog to count. Right. Yeah. Which is like my anime list for video games. <laughs> and cringe. Shut the fuck up. Cringe. Man. It's it's convenient for me. Because I've played so much. No! You're cringe! You're cringe! You're cringe. <laughs> 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 so, 
so I mean it's been nice for me to be able to put down stuff because my memory is so bad it's nice just to put down games I've played just just kill me <laughs> just just end it over 40 damage come on yeah but you could have killed me off of it it was just a bunch of silly mistakes Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. You sure you pressed it twice? I'm alive. Oh, of course you are. You're all the way across the stage, but now you're not alive. Not alive you're super alive. dead. Yeah, like, I, anyway, I've, I've documented, like, every game, or I'm trying to document every game I've ever played. Um, and it's hard. I've played far too many games to be able to accurately put every single one of them. But, even still, like, against the games I have played, it's crazy seeing that, like, comparing- Oh, what? That was, I don't need, I just pressed hell? buttons and I got a wall jump, okay. What the hell happened? That was nuts. Do it again. I'll try. Gotta keep that one in the back pocket. Yeah, right yeah. On. Glad we're recording that. Did you run up and taunt? <laughs> <laughs> I hope this game gets proper GameCube support on Switch like it does on PC. Cause like, I wanna be able to taunt. Taunting seems so funny. Yeah, roll in. Ah! Now I lost all my charge too on my Falcon Punch. Don't Go back in there, I'm filming you. Be a good subject now, won't you? April be like putting this on TikTok. What's that cringe Sir Toasty tweet like? Sir Toasty. He, uh, he's like, he's like, Peach. It was it was a it was an ultimate uh, tweet. Like he was. Oh, like, sir. Yeah, that guy. I forgot that person even existed. I, I like muted him a long, long time ago. But he was like, he posted something with it was a tournament clip of Toon Link and Peach, and it was like. Trying to do like their dialogue, it was like Peach, what are you doing? Tune like TikToking, old lady. You wouldn't understand. What? It was so fucking uh, stupid. Yeah. Very low effort jokes. Yeah, that was April to SpongeBob in that match when you uh, hit me with the <laughs> camera. SpongeBob. Uh, uh, How old uh, is SpongeBob canonically? Old. How did we get here? I accidentally pressed B. I think. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I I was trying to hit the record button. Or something. I don't know. Just make sure we both check our controls. Yeah, I got mine. I think. Yeah, I got mine. Yeah, SpongeBob's old. So he's in his he's in his twenties or thirties. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wears a suit. He wears a polo with an undershirt and a tie every day to work, and khakis. I kind of hate that that's considered an old person thing to do. What if you just want to dress nice? What if you just want to dress nice? Polo and khakis? Yeah, that's true. That's kind of a... That's like a white boy a summer type, type of thing. <laughs> the Spongebob fit does go kind of hard on a real human. Yeah. Not, not the shoes and socks, though. They can uh, go. No, that just made me think of those those really awful drawings where it's like cartoons oh. in real life. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the worst SpongeBob. ones I've seen are the kids next door ones. Oh, oh, I hate those, those so much. Rough. Yeah. Nothing's worse than the Fusion Fall designs for them, though. The what designs? Fusion Fall. Uh... Oh, you don't know what Fusion Fall is? No, 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 what's that? Okay, so... When Cartoon Network was trying a bunch of new stuff several years ago, like early 2000s, they made an MMO. What? And the MMO had this terrible realistic art design. It oh, had like man. every single one yeah. of their characters. It's okay, so official creepy. art. <laughs> yeah, if, like the Eddie and Eddie characters were like prevalent. Oh and no. They were hideous. They were so bad. Everyone looked so bad in the Fusion Fall art style. Some people love it. They're crazy. Like, yeah, take a second to look that shit up. Okay, it's okay, gross. okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up right now. Curious. Let's see. All right, Google Fusion Fall. Yeah, online game. Are there still servers up for it? I don't think so. Like fan servers? Yeah, I'm maybe. Guessing. Yeah. Was this popular? It couldn't. Oh, it was on Unity. Was it? Yeah, that's funny. It was on. Yeah, it was on Mac OS too. So really? It was I on didn't... Unity. That's funny. 
MMORPG, uh, and third person shooter apparently. Can you play Fusion Fall in 2021? <laughs> yeah, like look up Fusion Fall characters. I, ben 10 doesn't look too bad. Ben Tennyson. Yeah, but he's also like a real boy. Benjamin Tennyson looks fine. Grim looks kind of hard, dude. Grim goes hard AF. Yeah, look at look God. at Dexter. What? Yeah. Uh, that's supposed to be Dexter. That doesn't look. Yeah, they're like just him. like anime characters. Oh yeah, like it's it's just weird. Yeah, this is the box with Dexter on it. Like, uh, yeah, it's not offensive or no, anything. It's it just not, looks like, horrible. Odd. It's just strange. Yeah. That was kind of a hot pickup. Oh. Oh, I thought I could get something swaggy. Ooh. I'm mixing chomp into my game plan now. That move is just so good. No, no, no. Oh, you almost died after you said that. That <laughs> should have been funny. Ooh, hello. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, I played Fusion Fall. I uh, I remember around that time they also had one of the most fun games ever made. It was called like Ben 10 Bounty Hunters or something, and it was in game mini game. What's up? Was it in game? No, it had nothing to do with Fusion Fall. Oh, it's just another. It was just game another online. At the same time. There okay. was a like Nickelodeon also did had a third person shooter. I'll get to that in a minute, but like, uh, there was a Ben 10 game that played like it was essentially like Metroid Deathmatch, where it was like a Metroid, a small Metroidvania map with pickups and whatnot, like an arena shooter and multiple people. Hmm. So imagine like a mixture of Quake and uh, like Metroid Castlevania. Yo, gameplay. that sounds that sounds cool. That was it a Ben was, 10 game. Yeah. What the hell? I have no idea how it related to the show at all. But like, it was kind of hype. And grab typing in this game is so funny. I I remember oh. it being I remember it being very fun. I don't think it holds up very well if it's still yeah. playable. But I'll have to look into that later because it was it was a lot of fun from what I remember. Okay. Quake with licensed characters in general, like anything Quake with licensed characters, that sounds that sounds like it would go pretty hard. Speaking, of, okay, yeah, gonna circle back to this point now. Uh, you, yeah, you didn't use the internet at all. I was super freak from the internet, so you never played Slime Ball 3D. Slam Ball. No, slime Ball. Slime Ball. Th okay. Nickelodeon made a third-person shooter that used their licensed characters. Like, Interesting. it was terrible from what I remembered. Like, no like no good at all. But it was just so sick. Because it played like uh, like attack shooter. Oh, I almost got owned. Uh, it played like Gears of War, if I remember correctly. But it was like with slime. And uh, they kept adding new characters. They're, the last one I remember was Korra. Yo, Korra? So it was going on for a while. Yeah. That's like... Real late into Nick's life. Yeah. Also, I didn't realize. I looked up some stuff the other day. I didn't realize Nickelodeon started as like a purely educational endeavor. Well, they didn't stay that way. That's for sure. <laughs> no, what's, no, absolutely what's not. But it about started this? in like Ohio or something. One of the like somewhere in the Midwest. It was like an independent, uh, like, broadcasting company. Ooh, yeah, I actually yeah. mixed nice, it up. Nice uh, avoidance there. That was pretty clean. No, 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 not like that though. I'm not dead. I'm not owned. You're owned. Ooh. I'm, I'm not owned. Not owned. I dropped my jump input. Damn, I'd already burned. Uh... I didn't press that. <laughs> that was me on accident. <laughs> <laughs> No, you play this game with a hoary pad. That's yeah. That's weird. It's very comfortable, actually. Uh, 
I thought know. earlier in the game's life that strafing would be like more important. Um, I think it is. I think it's yeah. super important. I just think the utility isn't there yet. Like, yeah. I feel like no one's good enough at the game to really utilize the strafe button for its full potential. I also feel like it's probably an afterthought. Yeah. It's an after- it's like, it was something that was added a long time ago when the game was still analog. Wait, you think it was analog at one point? It was at one point. Thaddeus has said so. Oh. Pretty sure. Huh. Like, there was a switch at some point to get to the game being digital. Yo, Nintendo Switch? That joke sucked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but like... There is a, uh... There is a change to oh digital. Oh my god, I, I cannot wait for these Spongebob nares to get nerfed. <laughs> there is a change to digital. And whatever they change to digital is, I think, w uh, when strafing became less important. I can't imagine that they added the strafe button with the game in its current state. Because right now, yeah, strafing ain't that useful. Yeah. I remember uh, PPMD saying something about he was using strafing quite a bit. What character does he play? I have no idea. I don't remember. I think it's more important for some characters than others. I think I th maybe he played Aang? I'm I think sure. that can make a little bit of sense. But for Spongebob, strafing is important on the ground because dash attack for Spongebob is so important. And you'd get dash quicker and you retain it if you use strafe. Wait, really? Yeah, because like you don't, you, you're you already dashing when you start walking forward from a strafe. Wait, so like can you dash backwards? No, you can't dash backwards. Okay, I didn't think so. That'd be nuts. But yeah, like it allows Spongebob to like have like ambiguous ground movement and then just huh. like, explode into a dash attack. That's the main thing I use it for, and as you probably noticed by how much you can we get the camera back? <laughs> by how much we've played, like, I don't do it that often still. It's used mainly if I need a mix-up, and I need it, like, immediately. Hmm. Yeah. Ah. Uh. The pickup with down here. Oof. I didn't go high enough. <laughs> yeah, hopefully some... Uh, but yeah, anyway, I was talking. I got completely distracted a while ago about the whole Sakurai thing. But the reason I was bringing that up at all was uh, Harada's been talking recently about the Tekken project again. The Tekken Project? So well, like, the Tekken Project means Tekken. Tekken Cross Street Fighter. <laughs> well, not that. Probably not that, at least. But I'm dead. I'm alive. This game Vector sucks. Vector cancel. What? what I don't know what happened to my air dash. Okay. I think something happened with the tech. I don't know. I don't know. I'll either. have to look back at it, but I thought I had a had an air dash still, so I tried to burn that before I, uh, before I used my recovery. Yeah, like, Harada's, like, talking about the Tekken project, which means Tekken 8 might be a game? Yeah, how long has 7 been out? Let me, let me Google that real quick. 7's been around for a while. The arcade cap was 2014. Really? Three, Something six, like that. Three, I'm gonna look it up. Two, one. Yeah, uh, Tekken 7's cabinet. I'm just gonna look up release date and see what it says. 2015. March 2015. Is when okay. Tekken 7 uh, was released. That, that's the first result on Google, at least. Don't crucify me if that's wrong. <laughs> we will crucify him. We will hit him with SpongeBob Nair. If you get hit by SpongeBob Nair, we call that a skill issue. Shoutouts to 15 AI. That shit's so funny. Damn. 15AI. Yeah, 15.AI. Have you ever used 15.AI? What is that? It's a it's a website made by a, a uh, MIT grad, or like it's it's like his thesis or whatever. It is an AI learning algorithm that can use samples of, of voice clips and make full sentences. Oh, is that the thing? Uh, <laughs> the guy got the SpongeBob rapping or something? Yeah, yeah. That's also where my skill issue came from in that video. Okay. Oh yeah, taking the teeter there. Smart, so you don't take the full chomp at Right. I hate this. 
Yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking dead. I should have just taken the throw. This is what happens when you're against Colleen in the corner. I've heard, you know what? I've heard some bad things about Street Fighter V on PS4 recently. I have also heard those bad things, yeah. We are, we are in the same circles as far as who we follow, so... Oh, he's a mutual of mine. You're talking about uh, Bravo. Bravo? Right? I was talking about Sejam. I was like, I was holy not shit, about you're, you're mutuals with Sejam? I am, but that wasn't oh, what I was what? talking about. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. What did he follow you for? I don't know, I talked about Tatsunoko and it looked part of Will It Kill, but... That's funny. You probably don't follow me by now. But, but yeah, I uh, posting Sonic stuff on Twitter.com kind of cringe. I, I posted one tweet, it was Sonic adjacent, it wasn't even Sonic stuff. It's about a game I don't even fucking like. Apparently, that's a hot take for the Sonic fandom. It is, I'm so excited to share that with everybody whenever we Sonic decide Heroes? to play through that fucking game. Sonic Heroes is a uh, it's a, a terrible, great game, no good game. <laughs> It's a terrible, no good, awful game. If you have a game that is so damn boring, I, I can't even finish that sentence. I'm going nowhere with it. I will say though, platformers, 3D platformers, should not have enemies with health bars. That is a, you have fundamentally failed if you have a 3D platformer with, with your average enemies having multiple hit health bars. What's wrong with enemies having health bars in a 3D platformer? Mega Man has that. That's no, not, 3, 3D plat. Never mind. Never. I, I, <laughs> like, I, I, I like looped back also, to what you said. Also, the enemies yeah. don't have health bars in Mega Man. Just bosses. Yeah, yeah. Ain't that's nothing. True. Wrong oh, with like them. all the enemies. Yes. Holy shit. Okay, yes. so non-boss enemies. In Every, imagine oh. if it took four stomps for a Goomba. Yeah. That's no, Sonic no, Heroes. Thank you. Seems very grindy and unfun. There's no leveling. That's not true. There is leveling per level, per like action stage. There's like levels and shit you have to do for each character. Well, no, you don't have to, but like you can grind for like experience. It is. Uh, I hate Sonic Heroes' combat, and there is no platforming in the game. It's all combat. Really? It's a. It's linear straight lines into. I mean, who plays arenas. Sonic for combat? Uh, for for uh, for platforming, anyways, guys. Am I right? It's just speed. Lol. To Spoken be fair, like that a is a true that Sonic is, understanding. Yeah, that is actually kind true of a Sonic understander. Thing. Has entered the chat. Sonic understander, the guy who's played one fourth of Sonic Adventure one. Actually, probably one eighth. I feel like I played like a half of that game. I didn't realize the game was that long. You played, you played half of Sonic Story, which is one of eight playable characters. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, half all of Sonic all, Story. All in all, the game takes like nine hours tops if you're like first playthroughing it. I see. I'll have to go back and try it again sometime. Nice. Hey guys, more recommendations Three, for games two, like Sonic Adventure. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> that game's nothing like Sonic Adventure. Well, that, that's the meme. I though. know, but. I, come on. Game sucks. It's no fun. No I know. fun zone. But like, the thing is, people would say that. People were like, oh, if you like Sonic Adventure, you should play Sonic Adventure 2. They're really similar. The, uh, 2 is also so much better than Sonic Adventure 1. I hate that that opinion's becoming less popular. I hate that people are starting to agree with me now, because now I'm no longer a contrarian. You just like it. You like. It. I told you you like being contrarian. I don't like being contrarian. <laughs> yeah, you do. But yeah, I, you do. I don't... Uh, I don't... I hate when people agree with me for the wrong reasons. I'll put it that way. Yeah. I hate when my opinion becomes the public one because of some dumb bullshit. Like, people all of a sudden don't like SA2 anymore. Or, yeah, they don't like SA2 anymore. It's like, why not? Street Fighter? Uh, no, Sonic Adventure. Oh, Sonic. I was like, what? I don't like SF2 Street either. Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> well, like, people don't like Sonic, or Sonic Adventure 2 anymore. It's like, why? It's like, because that game's boring, slow. The Sonic stages suck. Knuckles is worse than he was in Sonic Adventure 1. And, uh, blah blah, repeat with the dark story. Tail stages suck, Eggman stages are alright. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know. But, like, where were y'all years ago? 
What happened? I don't like when my opinion becomes the public one, and it's obvious that the people who are agreeing with me haven't actually played either game. Damn, this man just raw, raw netted me, holy shit. You jumped into it! Roll. Oh, okay, it works out. <laughs> Die. <laughs> You get got the little taunt. Die! Holy shit! No, that <laughs> killed me. Ah! Oh. Uh, SpongeBob with the DP. SpongeBob, me Bob. I I lost my air dash, and now I'm going to die at twenty percent. I had a chance of winning that game too. You did. Cause you're talking about you're talking passionately about some dumb Sonic bullshit. Yeah, fuck <laughs> Sonic games. <laughs> Three, two, one. My favorite game of all time is the Sonic game. It's not even a real one. Sa Ro Sa Robo Blast or whatever. Yeah, Sonic Robo Blast two, SRB two, SRB two is like probably my favorite game of all time, and that game is not even real. I'm, I'm out of this one. You can't do it to me again. I'm a living. Don't worry. I should have used camera. Damn it. Don't worry. I gotta I, get better I these. edge guarding with camera. What? You just my giant hitbox. I win these. That was ambitious. It was. Damn. Okay. Okay. I can't dash dance. Oh no! I'm gonna die to this. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I knew. <laughs> you gonna jump over it? Hydrant. No, I missed my tech. Oh my god! I had one fucking chance. Woo! Okay. 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 I'm back in. Oh no! 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 Can't do this to me. <laughs> oh my god. Earned. Earned video Absolutely game. Absolutely not. <laughs> SpongeBob is so good. Holy shit. The definition. I can't of wait earned. for those nair, those nair nerfs to come in, dude. Holy no, fucking dude, shit. He doesn't. He doesn't. Need he it. needs to be nerfed. No. <laughs> He's balanced. <laughs> He's the main character, he's gotta be good. Box art, okay. Box art characters. Box art characters he, are awesome. He is more balanced than, than a lot of the top tiers. Even though he's uh, top two. Is he top two? I mean, I've heard, I saw one person say that today. Oh, they're not wrong. <laughs> I think this character's stupid. Yeah, like, what do you do? Oh my god. I'll downplay this character as a joke, but I actually think SpongeBob is a problem. <laughs> you like that one? The air dash down to get the teeter. It was that sick. That teeter got me, yeah. It was sick. That's one thing I've been thinking about. When when are zero to deaths cool, and when are they not cool? What makes a zero to death cool? Because a lot of people in fighting games in general, I, I think newer fighting game players have this idea of like, it, it sucks to get hit repeatedly and not not feel like you're able to do anything about it. But some platform fighters like like Nick, and like especially melee, uh, having like options to get out of it. SDI, DI being so strong as they are. So, I, I guess some sort of defensive interaction is the main thing. Yeah, like, zero to deaths being inescapable almost always sucks, right? But it's, like, not always. Because if we're talking about any, like, uh, touch of death combo... Then yeah, then there's games like Melty. <laughs> there's games like Marvel. Yeah, like, Marvel 2, Marvel 2, which like, is a very cool game. But there's also three characters on the team, so you still have two chances, even if you get TOD'd. That's so, like, true. Get, but having like, multiple chances. That's true, but those can be taken away depending on matchup too. Like sometimes you can get hit by unblockables on incoming. True. Mainly like if you're fighting a Dormammu. Like, why? Someone, why is Marvel still cool? 
I don't know. It just is, right? It's like, I don't- Is the I, IPs involved? No. The characters? Because like, Virgil's a cool character. I like Virgil in source material. Oh, thank you. You saved me. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. I like Virgil in source material a lot, but I see Virgil in Marvel and I just fall asleep. Yeah. Like, even then, he's not that boring. Like, he's still fun to watch. Zero, however. He's just very prevalent. Zero is a snore. Zero is an instant snore. I have never seen a more boring fighting game character in my life than Zero. It's funny and too. And that sucks because he's so cool. Yeah, all the footage I've watched, uh, you you watching VODs of like, uh, what is it, Toronto Never Sleeps? or Oh, Tampa. Tampa, not Toronto. Toronto Never Sleeps. <laughs> is, is there a Marvel scene in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> Canadian Marvel players, don't at me. <laughs> oh, they won't. They aren't They any. don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Toronto does sleep, in fact. Yes. Toronto sleeps. God, I just wish I could down air that. Why can't I down air that? <laughs> I can. I know you can! The Sickos. Difference. Yes, <laughs> yes. All I can do is hold hold shield and pray. Or hold block, there, there are no shields in this game. Punish me. I, I got the punish, guys. I did it. No, you don't, don't also block. <laughs> Jesus. Eventually, one of us is going to capitalize. I tried to do the same thing. Don't. Do yeah, that. like when do they stop being cool? Uh, I guess it's based on how many times you see it. Based on a novel by Stephen King. Yeah. How many times? Repetition. Do you see repetition and like mix-ups. Like how many mix-ups does it take to right. do it? How much skill is involved in the attacker? I also think it just... matters the tier of the character and how common you see them, because like, is yeah. zero, like like again, good good example is zero. Zero shows up on screen. He's got super aggressive zoning. He's ultra fast. Can borderline teleport. And if he touches you once, he builds so much meter that whenever he spends meter to start his infinite, it doesn't matter because he's already built the meter back by the time that he's done and popped out of it too. Yeah. Even though he can't build meter during so Sogenmu, does that really matter if he builds so much meter on the end of the combo after Sogenmu is over that he's already got more meter than when he started? No, not at all. And it's like, sure, it, took so it takes a lot of optimization and it's execution heavy. And you do have to get into the position to do that, which requires you to have at least some game knowledge to be able to get there in the first place. But, like, that doesn't stop it from being so fucking boring. But that exact same thing can't be said for whenever even Virgil starts TODing someone. I guess the difference with Virgil is, like, if Virgil took as long as Zero did to kill someone, he'd be just as boring. But because at least Virgil has the, the decency to kill you in three hits, right? Yeah. <laughs> like... I, a big thing with it too is fairness. Yeah, like defensive mechanics. Like in melee, you've got you've got the option to di. You've got sdi. If you're a fox or if you're if you're fox or falco, you can shine because it's a frame one option that lets you float a little bit. Like mm -hmm. you got some shit to get out of uh, sticky situations. But if you're you know, but like on the on the flip side too, it's like. When do defensive options start to get boring? Cause like, yeah, you got multiplayers. Frame. When you have a defensive option, shit, I can't do anything, dude. This game's offense is so bad. Cause like, there's opportunities. This is a good time to talk about ultimate. I've never True. said that in my life. Yeah, but like, ultimate has problem characters like Game and Watch. Who? What? What? The fuck? I was in my role animation. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I was just starting to roll off ledge. That was some horse shit. <laughs> yeah, Game & Watch in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is a very messed up character. Yeah, problem character. <laughs> yeah, Spongebob on the other hand. Honest. <laughs> Wait, weren't you saying though too that like no one, except for Leo, Leo knows how to play against Meister. Uh, yeah, but my, my problem, my point, like what I was going to talk about is upbeat. With, with Game & Watch. Oh, yeah. Because I was talking about defensive mechanics. 
And it's like, I think that a frame one and get out of jail free card in any situation is pretty dumb. It's okay with Shine because it's like still some risk to it because if you're in the air, you're fucked. Like you can't do anything about it until it's over. And it's like 20 frames or some shit. I don't know, I'm not a melee frame data nerd. I can't bring that up right now. But Game & Watch, he's actionable like immediately. Yeah. And it's a hitbox, a giant one. So he just gets out. Mm -hmm. Cloud, also a frame Yeah, four. Cloud with Climb Hazard. Okay, buddy. You gotta stop running up and, and blocking. You gotta stop uh, not doing anything about it. I'm alive. Don't even worry about it. How'd you know? Alright. I just know. He just knows. That was a good guess. It was a good guess. Yeah, what up? <laughs> Aw, oh, get hit, come on. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to grab, and that was a mistake. Yeah, also, this day in history, to date this even more. Today's the day Sora comes out. Oh god. In fact, yeah. as of right now, it is 8.46 p.m., which means... Yo, somebody got the patch notes? Somebody link me the patch notes, dude. Yeah, somebody, I need the patch notes. Did they nerf the Pikachu? Did they, did, they, did they touch Belmont? Are they playable yet? Did they, uh... Belmonts have always been playable. I know, they're good. Well, they're not good, but they're... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're not good. They're good, but not ultimately good. They're good, but they're not Nazby good. True, no one's Nazby good, though. The only character that's Nazby good is Fishbun. Fishbungeon's so fun. Who what? Slap City. We gotta play that too. I love Slap yeah, City. Yeah, we should do that. Oh shit. I wish they put it on console. I now understand why it's not on console. Because I know they they were preoccupied in figuring out a completely different game to get on consoles. Right. But like now that Slap City's basically done, which I mean it's either pretty close or done at this point. Wow. What happened there? <laughs> My brain said you're dead. It said I earned it. Yeah, like just like I earned that kill. Now but that SpongeBob didn't die because he's a super heavy. <laughs> now that Slap City's development cycle is done, at least or at least pretty close, with all the story modes being done, I think it'd be really cool to see. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? Yeah, did my did. recovery go through your chomp? Well, your up B is not a hurt box. Yeah, I didn't hit your body, I just hit your blimp. I'd like to see it ported to consoles now, TLDR. Now that it can be. But Nickelodeon's gonna take the forefront for a long time, I'm sure. True, yeah. I love Ludosity. They made my favorite Zelda game. What's that? It'll do. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize you you were really into that. I game. like it'll do a lot. That game's super good. That's a game I'd love to play on the podcast, honestly. Maybe in the future. I know that uh, at some point. Oh god. Pretty soon. No, <laughs> I went for the edge guard and I immediately regretted it. We're doing a Zelda game. I don't know what we're we're doing though. We should do, uh, Link's Awakening. Uh, remastered for the Nintendo Switch. We'll probably play it because it's the most convenient one to play. It's but... good. I still don't. I know there's some frame drop issues with that game. I know you think there's it's too a... many unnecessary changes that I think just spoil the experience. Especially adding the claw shot or the hook shot and making it super important and ruining the raft mini game for it too. It's like the just, what mini game? The like the raft. The raft and the uh, the wave, like the tides. How did it ruin? Because it's not like that was a predetermined path. There was like skill to it. Now it's all luck uh, without the claw shot. I didn't realize it was an RG. It is. Type in, game. In, it is in the remake. It's just a lot of small weird stuff like that. Then weird things gated behind new stuff that I don't like. Just like it, like the extra dungeons. Yeah, it it messes up the flow of the game. From what I really what happened to you? I don't like know. it, it, it just it changes it a lot. 
in a, in a way that I don't really like. And plus, I like the art style a lot, I really do, but the frame drops are noticeable, and the depth of field problems on the Switch are just gross. Like the blurry stuff outside the immediate area. I, yeah. I don't like that at all. It's just a bad effect. You saw your life flash before your eyes. Nah. I'm living these. Not even... Maybe I should I learned! Been worried. Maybe I learned how I, to do it! Maybe I should have been worried. Hell yeah. No, it's okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm, I'm winning this. Don't... I'm not worried at all. I'm gonna win <laughs> this game. I'm gonna win this game somehow. Alright, the somehow came in because I got nervous. <laughs> I am an idiot! Oh, I'm so good. I'm so glad you threw. Yeah, that's right. Get all of it. I got a move you forgot about. No! We picked those up. Oh, that was close. Oh. Never worried. Never yeah. Worried. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning how to use uh, down strong. Really fucked up move. It's a good move. Yeah. Also, if you decide to recover really low, um, God, I need to learn the move names. I could commentate this game because <laughs> I'm sure nobody right now is learning the move names because I know there's like boom mic. Uh, oh God, I don't even know April's moves names. I know my move names. You do? Yeah. Imagination clap, yeah, yeah, imagination yeah. kick. Jellyfish net. <laughs> I can't think of the actual name of it, but down punch, up kick, karate punch. Isn't there one that, like number one fan or something? For what character? Not SpongeBob. I thought. Nah. Chomp is down B. That's the actual name of the move. Okay, we, 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 we got the pickup, sort of. Ah, uh, I overestimated. It's called spacing, sweetie, look it up. <laughs> it's called what? <laughs> spacing. Okay, yeah, spacing. Yeah, this game. Hey, Definitely I did space encourages. that move, though. I spaced it underneath your boom mic. I'm alive. Not, never worried. That's the motto. Ooh, I'm alive. Oh, uh, he read the job. Yeah, you know what's been weird? Hmm. The lack of movies. Like I know. Oh weird. yeah, post. Like, well, we're still in COVID. Yeah. But we're not, but uh, people are getting vaccinated, so people who don't want to fucking die <laughs> are able to do things. And it's it's still weird though. Like. It's summer now. Well, summer's coming and gone, actually. Yeah, yeah. But no, uh, no real summer blockbusters besides the handful of I'm I'm alive. The handful of Marvel movies. I will say I did watch both Marvel movies that have come to theaters recently. One of which being dramatically better than the other one. Oh yeah, Shang Chi. Yeah, Shang Chi was good. I will hold that. I think Shang Chi is the best Marvel movie. High praise. Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think that Shang-Chi just has a lot of really good action se sequences. And I didn't realize that almost every actor had done Wu-Tang movies before. I watched Yo, Wu-Tang? Yeah, that's the, that's the name of the genre as well. The clan? Yeah, like... like <laughs> I didn't know that was an actual movie genre, okay. Yeah, like the... Like I just the, thought it was a hip-hop hip group. The, the, like the Chinese, like, Hop and Chop movies. All the karate movies. Those are called uh, Wu Tangs. Ah, apparently. I learned that because I went to the Alamo Draft House and they had a special thing recorded by like the main two cast members for the Alamo Draft House where they talked about their cinematic history. Okay. Then a bunch of the people who were like in the movie and they showed off a couple of the movies they'd been in before and then mm. they did a whole history lesson on the genre and how it made its way overseas. That's cool. I it didn't was know. really yeah. cool. I, I like how Alamo Draft House does stuff like that. Yeah. I miss the I miss the Alamo Draft House thing where they like just shit talk that person like super hard. The uh, the lady who was on her phone during the movie that got kicked out. They don't play that anymore. Wait, really? Yeah. Is it too uh, 
No, I think it's just like- it's, Dude, it's cancel been... culture is getting out of hand. <laughs> I think it just, uh, probably got old. Like, they probably- Yeah. I, I still cancel the dash attack into Chomp. I'm just throwing moves out. I'm not punishing your guards at all. They're kind of hard to punish. Blocking is good in this game. It is really good in this game. It, it's not like shields though, and ultimate or anything. It's like I, I'm very happy with it. It feels. I like guarding in this game. I think it's good. really cool. Grabs are also really good. So the the benefit you get from punishing, uh, blocking is very very good. <laughs> that was a foolish. Edward. Yeah, bad decision. Bad decision, city out here. Yeah, speaking of bad decision, uh, one of the two Marvel movies I watched was Black Widow. Oh, was that was that a stinker? <laughs> that movie sucked. Really? Like, I I like Taskmaster a lot as a character. I he's in that movie. See, I, what they should advertise that. Maybe I would have seen it. They did. He's in every ad. The problem is that the Taskmaster that's in this movie isn't Taskmaster. He doesn't speak. In fact, it's a woman. It's a woman who was dead. Like... Bro, women in movies, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but they, like, retconned tax Taskmaster's whole character and made him, like, the daughter of the dude who owned the Black Widows. Made him the daughter. Yeah, because, like, they, they made a male character into a dead little girl. I'm canceling you. But she was like, <laughs> I don't understand how they made this like 30 year old dude into a 4 year old girl. Like, it's weird. Yeah. And, and it ruins the potential of, without outside the uh, alternate universe stuff they're going to be setting up. Jesus. Oh, you fool. Ooh! Oh, wait, your iframes? <laughs> Where'd those come from? Hello, unbased department. It's for you. I'm based. Yeah. Based on uh, Harry Potter book. Oh fucking no! I couldn't come up with anything in time. You're not killing me with jab. I'm not owned. Why'd I tr why'd I try for that? Oh sh! Oh, you should have killed me. You did. Yep. <laughs> I waited for the roll in. Okay. No, I- Ah! <laughs> I was bait. gonna vector cancel it that, but I, I keep mashing the tech button too much. I, I, I'm i curious no how those tech window changes are gonna affect, uh, affect the game, because I haven't been able to experience them yet. Hopefully by now, by the time this episode gets released, we'll have uh, Switch updates. Yeah, we'll come back to this in the future. We'll do a couple one-offs of it like we're doing now. Mm -hmm. It's a fun game. We'll definitely revisit this game whenever it gets the DLC too. Oh yeah, dude, Garf. Big Garf. There's a big leak apparently too. Like that's fake. That's all fake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thaddeus Dang. is like, wow, I can't believe they showed off all these characters we haven't even talked about developing yet. <laughs> They're so good at leaking. They've leaked our plans that we haven't made yet. Right. I think Garf is the only one like in the pipe right now. Maybe. Garf and Shred. Sh oh yeah, Shredder. Shredder's cool. I'll probably end up playing Shredder as a pocket. I just like him as a character. I think he's neat. Not a TMNT guy, but Shredder's pretty raw. Just a white guy that wears samurai costumes. He's like Geese Howard. Dude, it's it's literally uh, Sodom. Yeah, it's literally Sodom from the, from the Alpha Sodom. series. Or he he was in Final Fight originally. Yeah, he was a he was a boss in Final Fight. Yeah, literally the OG the OG weeb. Him and Geese. Geese is American. Geese is also a, ma a major weeb, yeah, I forgot about it's Geese. It's crazy, like, I was a little confused, because I'm not a big SNK guy, right? Like, I've played a bunch of the crossovers, but I didn't really know much about the individual games. So, I mean, I'm the guy who played mostly CBS 2, that's where most of my experience from the characters came from. Mm -hmm. Then I played a couple Sam shows, like Sham Show on Genesis. I but... still, I, I would be totally down to play some Sam shows. Playing They're playing Haomaru in CBS two is so fucking it's fun. It's fun. He's a fun ass character. Yeah. But I'm I want to play him in Soul Cal. I uh, that too. Yeah, Soul Cal five. Now that you have experience with with one, you can probably imagine what Haomaru in that game would be like. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, so I played Tekken, 
I was confused. I'm like, why is he not speaking Japanese? A little weird they casted an English VA for this guy. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize at the time of uh, Geese's release in Tekken 7 mm -hmm. that he was actually American. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> we're inventing new stuff. New SpongeBob technology. Yeah, new nair to anything. <laughs> no, but my chomp, my chomp technology is so strong. Why did I, why am I dropping like a rock? Don't kill me. Damn it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide. Hard, it's called hard work. Alright. Yeah, you don't know what hard work is. You haven't worked hard a day in your life with the SpongeBob. No, I played Powdered Toast Man. I know hard work. Okay, Powdered Toast Man? Powdered Toast Man. You could have pioneered the Toast meta, dude. I could have, but I decided that I'd, la I'd rather. Uh, just <laughs> You'd not. rather take the easy road. I'd rather take the easy road, Shameful. Honestly. Shameful? Sure. But, like. It's also nice What's to What's the shame with money to my name, you know? Why pioneer the toast meta when I can be a sponger? Soaking up the knowledge from all the other players. What? For real though, it took people a while to like... Realize the truth about Spongebob. I've known. Yeah, I've been talking this character up basically since day one. Oh, that was <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Damn, he got the parry. You. What happened there? My air dash behind you. Okay. Oh, yo. I went for what that. I went for Based. that too. Have you finished? Uh, oh yeah. You you've done your first playthrough of Undertale completely unspoiled at this point. Yes. Which that's crazy. I don't. I still don't know how you managed to play Undertale in the year 2021 and be mostly unspoiled. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! I need to stop jumping after that. That's. I've done that twice and you punched it both times. Um, yeah, I don't know. Nobody in my friend group at school ever talked about. I mean, I was I was uh, acquainted with Andrew. I was acquainted with Connor also. Um, I just never really talked shop about video games with any of those dudes. Um, even uh, even a lot of the band kids. I was I was band nerd. Um, none of them really talked much about Undertale. I'm sure they did like every once in a while, but it was just like. Yeah, just for whatever reason, I, I just always went unspoiled. Also, it's a very, very progressive game as well. So I feel like a lot of people in my uh, <laughs> are a little bumfuck Texas town. Dude, a ton of people played Undertale at Wild East, especially. Really? Okay, yeah. never mind then. Especially after I started. Uh... Oh, this is a fun story. I uh... before it was public knowledge on how to do it. Like I want to say, like a couple months after the game released. I had, I had used Game Maker and found a way to get it working on mobile phones. Game Maker. That's that's the the engine that the game is built in. Game Maker Two. Really? Yeah. Okay. And I had a pirated copy of Game Maker Two with all the tools and stuff for it at the time to port to different devices. Okay. And I had made a functional Android port. It's of, a it's a paid program. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I made a, a functional Android port. Very, very rudimentary. You needed an alternate app to do some other stuff, mm -hmm. like to get the controller prompt on screen. Uh, I think I just used a Bluetooth controller before I figured that out. But I, after after it became common knowledge on how to do it, I saw that they used a different app to get the controller overlay, and I started doing that too. But initially, I was just using a Bluetooth controller and suggesting yeah. people do the same. Okay. And I started to put up little posters around school and I would sell it to people for a dollar. Are you fucking kidding me? No. <laughs> okay. I actually did this. I don't know. I like put, uh, uh, I like put together some dumb terrible poster 
and like I got some sales. Yeah. So, uh, I, I don't know if I should admit this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this man admitted to a, a felony. Is it a felony? I don't know. Probably not. Besides, I was selling the like labor. I wasn't selling. Anyways, I wasn't selling the software. Point. I was selling the labor. Plus, it's like. Uh, I don't know. It's illegal, probably, for me to do. Actually, absolutely, for me to do what I did. But like Toby cares. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna mind. It was just funny, more than anything else. Like, it was more. I did something for a proof of concept, and then basically. Holy shit! That's Mario. Yeah, that's His recovery Mario is everything, shit. dude. I uh, I basically would charge people a buck to do it for them. I would just get it on their on their uh, phones as well. If they had Undertale files, I would uh, use theirs. If they mm -hmm. didn't, I would just use mine. So yeah, maybe it's legally ambiguous, but either way, uh, it was funny because there was people that used to just get so irritated because like every single class I had, I'd put up one, and like the oh my god, the, the you fucking nerd! I wanted fucking money. Cringe, Lord. I, did, I did so much stuff for money in high school. <laughs> yeah, you could ask Cameron or Connor. Like I used to do so much shit for money back in high school. Like, that sounds, uh, mm, okay. <laughs> a little bit. Nothing sexual, obviously. Gone like, sexual. I, uh, I used to sell a bunch of shit. I would sell extra balls cans. I would sell, uh... You sold balls? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> balls, guar what is it, guarana? Guarana, yeah. Sell extra balls cans. I would, uh sell like like I don't know like just random shit that I had yeah I used to sell like extra games to game trade to get money <laughs> like I oh what was the most egregious thing I ever did was I sold a mystery box on uh, eBay oh for a couple hundred God. dollars and it just had this black and white small picture of a pseudo Budo in it uh. and I and like I put bricks in it to make it feel like it was gonna be heavier. And oh right, that's right, that's right, that's right. I had a picture of like an Xbox One or something when they were new. What are the or, legalities like, of that? Uh, totally fine because I said in the description that it was uh just a picture. So if they were to come back after me for it, there's nothing they could have done about it. Dude, come on. I covered my own ass when I did this stuff too. Listen, man, I needed money. You know the kind of situation I was in. <laughs> like, I desperately needed money. That's how I ended up at that stupid video game store. True. Working a second job in high school. <laughs> Yeah, I did a bunch of funny stuff like that. Ah! No! No! <laughs> oh my god! Is that just his regular down air too? Yeah, this is regular down air. Regular down air. Of course it is. Yeah, it's not like I would ever scam people. That's a bit outside of my morality. Excited outside mystery of, box. Outside of mystery box. <laughs> outside, that's different. If like, you fell for that, you're an idiot. <laughs> Who buys random shit off of eBay that has like it's like, for, yeah. You Did get, the box look nice though? It was a it was like a copy paper box. Like, it was a, it was nothing. It was like literally nothing. If it was a nice looking box, how do you think I would have gotten out of my parents' house with it? Like. It was just a, like a copy paper box with like nothing else. I'll have to see if I can find the eBay listing. That would be funny. I've told this story tons of times. Dude, I die at 50. I took you to 156 and I just. Should've killed me. You had the opportunity. Yeah, well, like I just, that. Yeah. Just press Nair. I need to press Nair. Nair is a good move. Good ass move. If your character has a bad Nair, sorry to tell you, you're unviable. Honestly, compared to Mikey, Aang, and Sponge, Sponge yeah. it is not great. 
Even though it's insane. <laughs> it's just how this game rolls. I was so scared. <laughs> What a parry! How do you have time? I just used down B to recover as well. I gotta mix up my timing. I feel like you figured me out. Perhaps. No! Die. I did. Wait a second. <laughs> I don't want to die. No. It's over. Wait, not for me. No. No. Ooh, that would have been so good. You're dead. I'm dead. Dude, okay. I got one. Got I one. got one. Holy shit. It's been forever. What's my, I wonder what my win rate is on this compared to... I think my win rate on Smash is probably slightly higher. Especially those Lucario games. When I was learning Lucario... <laughs> I was getting mad. <laughs> oh, man. That's the maddest I've ever seen. That character used to carry, dude. Like, I had he no idea. Does. He does. Lucario is so bad and also so criminally under. He's so bad, but like, really if you don't know the matchup, you just fucking yeah. lose. That's how, that's how a lot of Ultimate is. Yeah, it is. That's why I was getting irritated. Because, like, Ultimate is such a fucking brainless game. Where it's like, if you either you know what to do against this one-dimensional cookie-cutter character archetype, or you don't. Okay, but like, Lucas is actually somewhat fleshed out a little bit. Right. To where he has somewhat of a game plan that can do something. Which is why he's one of the few remotely interesting characters in the game. And even then, not really. He's boring as hell to watch, just slightly more fun to play. I'd say he's pretty fun to play, too. I don't. I hate fighting him. A lot of people don't. Or a lot of people do hate fighting him. I mean. Ah, oh, I almost got the pick up. I'll cover so many options by just pressing buttons. I'll take the spin out. Don't parry. Don't parry. There we go. That was hard to close out, but now you're at zero. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? I actually <laughs> clipped through the stage. I should have killed you there. Stop mixing up your recovery. Please go one dimensionally. Thank you. I miss a lot of old memes. Sponge, but looking at SpongeBob reminds me of like a ton of old memes. He's always like relevant in memes. Yeah. But. Oh yeah! If you're watching this, go watch uh, Emperor Lemon. How SpongeBob predicted the rise of culture. Is that Imp Lemon video? I, it might be. I go haven't watch seen Emperor it. Lemon on YouTube. Good content. He also talks about good. super niche stuff like like NASCAR. I like NASCAR NASCAR is not niche. Like, no, it's not. But like, like for a lot of people in our age group, I feel like it's fairly niche. Thing. Like the rivalries in NASCAR video. I have yeah, no yeah, idea why I started like, watching what? that. Who makes videos about that? You know, dude could be a reporter, but like good content. That, that just makes. Dude, dude could be a reporter. Up. That's all a that's a up. modern age like slander piece that you just wrote right there. Okay, okay. Well, reporters <laughs> are given a bad name for a lot of reasons. I mean, to make the 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 big media in general. Wait, up throws are nuts. Hold on a second. I should be using up throw more. No, no, no. 
I went for uh, upstrong there, which is why I lost. Okay. I lost every RPS encounter there. Good tech, you just saved yourself from dying. I'm very confident that I had some stuff ready. That was slimy. Ah. Whew. Yeah, like, yeah, speaking of Lemon, the reason I wasn't talking about Spongebob for, like, classic memes at all is YouTube poops. I love YouTube. I love YouTube poops as well. For me, like, YouTube poops were always, like, the Mario YouTube poops and the Spongebob YouTube poops. That's where, like, most of what I was referring to is the YouTube poops come from. That and, like, YouTube poop music videos YouTube is, is where, where the poop is. is. Love me some old-fashioned YTPs. What, and, you know, you never got into Sifa Gunner, did you? Or like Silva Gunner, back when that was their name. I have... I, I didn't understand the channel or like the joke in general for a long time. Uh, the big reason because I didn't really start playing video games until, what, 2017, 2018? Yeah, 2018 at the, at the, like, the earliest. So a lot of the references were just like lost on me. That's kind of sad. Eh, I need to focus on school. Yeah, 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 but like... I got through high school. <laughs> you were in college at that point, weren't you? Like, when did you start doing college? Uh, 20... yeah, 2026. So yeah, like, we're right at 2026. Being able to float while charging Chomp is actually criminal. You see that position I just put you in? Yeah. That was horse shit. I, I was horrified. Yeah, I've been going through a bunch of some old Siva Gunner stuff, like the both the King for a Day tournament series. They've got some amazing songs that hold up so incredibly well. I was talking to you a little bit about oh, it on yeah, Twitter, yeah, yeah. and you just didn't respond to me because you probably I have was, no idea what the I fuck was, I was talking about. I just finished. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, terminated two Amazon Cat 5e cables. Uh, just I had to terminate two new ends, and yeah, I don't know, the weather's a little better, but there's still sun out. Yeah, weather was kind of rough recently, but now it's cooled off, and it's pretty nice. Park and park stuff, and then been at Costco for like an hour, Walmart. So we made the round as far as like doing, uh, just doing, uh, running Chores and, and shit. So I was just like, oh yeah, it's this, uh, Siva Gunner stuff. What's the first, like, meme? The first Siva Gunner, like, meme meme? That I understood. Kind of thing. Yeah, what, what was, like, the first thing that made them... Big? It definitely would have been Granddad. Granddad? Flintstones? Uh, it was, uh... So, the joke initially is... There, have you ever watched Vine Sauce? Yeah. You know Joel from Vine Sauce? Uh, Joel was playing so, like bootlegs. He was, one of his initial bootleg uh, compilations, and he was playing a Mario bootleg seven or a bootleg comp compilation, and he played like Super Mario Seven or something, and the game was just called Granddad and had like Flintstones music playing. Okay. And he said, Granddad Flintstones? So from that point forward, that picture of like, it was like a blue and red Mario with like red teeth and like a like super white and he was like cyan and red. And that picture of Mario as being called Granddad and the song is the Flintstones, like the okay. Flintstones main theme. So the Flintstones leitmotif was, uh, yeah, the Flintstones leitmotif was mashed up into random songs. And that was that's the Granddad meme. 
grocery store and saw some Flintstone gummies. I haven't had those Flintstone in forever. Vitamins. I'm surprised that they're, they're still making them. Audio on. Yeah, your audio's on. Okay. Uh, no, it's not. Your audio is not on. Oh no. It's been off this whole time. I don't know. Did you just enable my audio? Not the not the whole time. Also, mine just went out. Oh, They're pretty bad. I've been talking the whole time about. It's okay. Uh, this is like a test run. Yeah. Besides, yours wasn't off that long. It was only off for a little bit. I've been watching the bars. Okay, okay, yours, good. You basically just touched it and knocked it out. That's, that's probably ago. why, yeah. So. Flintstones gummies. I'm surprised they still make Flintstones gummies. I guess not that surprised, but... They still... A lot of people talk about them, and like they're a multi-generational thing at this point. Like, yeah. I grew up with Flintstones gummies. My sister's kids are growing up with Flintstone gummies. I'm sure if I ever have any or like adopt any, my kids will have will grow up with Flintstones gummies. Like it's just good, it's gonna be a universal experience mm -hmm. under capitalism, profiting off of an IP owned by Hanna Barbera, which is becoming which is going to become culturally less and less relevant as time progresses. When um. Also, I, I just figured I kind of ashamed almost. I don't know, not ashamed, just kind of funny. Uh, I didn't realize that Hanna Barbera was two guys. <laughs> I thought it was a name. I thought it was like one of those. I thought it was a Hispanic what? name or something. I thought Hanna Barbera was like a Hispanic name where like they keep you know they keep the the mother's last name as well as my the... man looks at fucking uh, Mike and Ike and goes, "What a weird first name." Yes. <laughs> Yes, Hanna Barbera's two dudes. All right. Oh. That's oh no! Enough, How did I get out of that? I had to like jump and then air dash and then use uh, use blimp. Jump, air dash back. Yeah, for some reason I, <laughs> I was. Okay, for if this is also a funny story, I was at a client's house. And uh, their son had this. It's probably an Nvidia. Like, what? What's the largest? The Shield? No, no, no. no. It, what's the largest card they make right now? It was like, oh, a, like a 3080 or like the 30. It was like a 3080. It was it was insanely like huge. Was it a Titan? It, it very well could have been. It, they have money to burn. But like, <laughs> anyways. Also, their house cleaner was over. And the house cleaner had a kid. Childcare is very fucking expensive, so the house cleaner brought her kid over with her, and he had her cell phone out. And I, I can only assume he was watching TikTok on there. He's watching TikTok memes. So every once in a while, while I was trying to reseat this graphics card that this kid had, oh, and, no. oh no, no, I'm too cool for this one. <laughs> I had to move the card uh, to to add another M.2 drive. Because the way the way this ROG Strix board was set up, uh, you couldn't. Yeah. Anyways, I just had to move some shit around. But like, I'm like toiling away, and this little kid is walking around with with uh, like TikTok on his phone, and there's like Hanna Barbera sound effects going on in the background, <laughs> <laughs> like doo -doo 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 -doo, like running noises and just funny shit like that. And then all of a sudden, I get whiplash. Camel by Camel starts playing. This this whatever whatever the name of the Anka song is. Oh yeah okay. yeah that started playing. This kid was watching TikTok and then the meme spread to his corner of the internet. I'm like oh my god. What's it kid, just a, it's a popular meme for some reason. Kids are not gonna be okay. The kids are not okay. <laughs> it's not that weird. It's not. Well, okay, I, it was like, it just gave me whiplash, dude. I was trying to work. And in between it's... intermittent Hanna Barbera sound effects, it just that song came on. <laughs> it just threw like, me off so much. I, I, had, I had to try just not to not like, just start laughing. TikTok is a much like that meme as it is now, the Anka meme. Yeah, is much more digestible and less suggestive than basically anything I grew up seeing on Newgrounds. That's fair, yeah. Newgrounds is such a cesspool. And like looking back at it, I'm like, damn. Newgrounds is a cesspool, but it's a fun cesspool. It is a fun cesspool. It's 
It's my cesspool. It's being crowded now by a new age of. Also, I was kids. not trying to taunt there. I just have it balanced to a button that's close to other stuff. I'm dead. Woo! Yeah, I'm dead. Good, good spike. Yeah, Friday Night Funkin's a game. Uh, that is a game. Like, it, it's brought popularity back to Newgrounds, but at what cost? <laughs> that's basically how I feel about it now. Like, I enjoy Friday Night Funkin' on a surface level. I really like the no music. No more Friday Night Funkin'. No more. I uh, supported the Patreon campaign. I see. And it's like, yeah, I'll play that in seven years when it releases. People, people, yeah, yeah, people are not happy about that right now. I don't understand what you expected. Yeah, like, that's... anytime Patreon stuff happens, I'm just like, oh, here we go. But like, <laughs> here it goes. Like, game development's hard and takes forever. It is very difficult. Not to mention, they were planning on making so much content. Like, I don't know who needs to hear this, but like, Patreon takes a very large cut out of the funds. Oh, yeah. And guess what, fuckers? One million dollars is not a lot of money for ten people to live on. No, it is not. One million dollars, if that's everything, is enough money for ten people to survive for, like, half a year. Yeah. Money... Like, it also depends on where you live, so obviously true. that's not exactly You live in Ohio? True, <laughs> yeah. You but... can live off anything. Oh, come on. His recovery. Why is it that good? 56%. Yeah, like, this is very doable. If you expect 10 people... Oh, oh I got pineapple. Oh, unfortunate. Man. Pineapple under the sea. Yeah, ten people living off a million dollars. A million dollars sounds like a not like a lot. I mean, it that is being not. said, like a hundred thousand dollars per person is kind of nice, but like that's enough to live off pretty comfortably for a year, at for, least year and a half, mm, maybe year and a half to two years. It depends on how much your rent is, where you live. I think many people how could you like are. if you're if you're. But yeah, it's not. It's like you, it's you, not, you said anyways. It's not a million dollars just straight up. It's gonna get taxed. Yeah, like, it's gonna get taxed. It's gonna get Patreon money. And we're we're capitalist pigs, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, fuck billionaires. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> like you can't live off. But of yeah, that a million much. bucks between ten people taxed in Patreon gets their cut. Not. It's it's not that much money. I don't even like. F and F, so I don't know. I'm in this. I have no horse in this race. Yeah, but it's just like, but it's yeah, just like from the from a uh, like just monetary perspective, it's like game development takes a while. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take several right. years. It's gonna take longer than the uh, amount they raised is gonna allow them to live. Right. Yep. And they need a place to work. They need equipment, they need a place to work. Not all that yeah, money is just gonna to, go to like food yeah, and housing. They have to pay for, they have to pay their they bills. They actually have to make the game with that money. <laughs> yeah, they have to pay their bills, they have to do a bunch of shit with that money. And they also have to pay for the equipment and upkeep of whatever they're doing. Not yeah. to mention the licensing, because they're planning on doing some licensed music. Like they're planning on having, or like working with new music producers and like getting new songs. Can you fucking imagine the, the, the money that's gonna cost? Like, yeah, record companies love money, dude. Working, trying to get like a known producer, even if a, even a small one of some kind, to work with you to make a new track that you're gonna try and put in your video game, you, it's gonna be, it's impossible. Your game is gonna turn into a legal nightmare. That's what happens with like all rhythm games. Really. Donkey Konga. Like Donkey Konga has a bunch of covers in it for a reason. Because mm. there's no way. That even the Crystal Method songs are all covers. Like, no, they're not. Yeah, Some they are. of them aren't. I don't no. remember hearing them and being they're all like, covers. this is a cover. No, they're all covers. Are I know it's sure? a weird thing to try. Yes, absolutely. It seems so... It sounds so similar, though. Some of them. Well, to be fair. Like, no, it's, like it's not a, like the hardest thing in the world to cover. You find, you find the MIDI sound sample. Three, two, one, <laughs> but yeah, Donkey Kong is covered in covers. Lol. But I can only imagine part of that's because of legality and licensing. Licensing for. Oh, that's why, uh. 
Red Zone. Red Zone <laughs> is a meme song, sure. But like, it was initially made. Red Zone, what's that? Uh, it's uh, Speed Rave. It's a song like Brain Power. I, none of those words mean anything. You, you to never me. heard Brain Power? Nope. Like, I probably have. But like, I'd... okay, but like, anyway, there's a bunch of popular meme songs for like white. I'm dead. For like YouTube poop music videos and stuff. Sure. Yeah. And like a lot of those originate from rhythm games, but a lot of the times they're removed from. Yo, I, look at that sick combo. <laughs> I'm dead. They're removed. Oh my god. They're removed from the rhythm games that they originate from because they no longer pay the licensing, and whatever Wait, the next, really? whatever the next yeah. biggest company is, gets that. Like like the arcade machine specifically. Yeah, like, like Waka or Mai Mai. Brain Power is no longer in, uh, shit. What's it called? Sound Voltex or whatever, and that's the game it was created for. Like that song was made for that game. Okay. And it's no longer in that game, but it's in Groove Coaster. It's in Waka. Like, it's in all of uh, Taito's games, but it's Weird. no longer in any of Bandai's games. Just because the licensing costs increased for them. Yeah. So, like, that's something you gotta think about whenever you're, like, working with companies for, like, rhythm game songs. <laughs> Ooh. I gotta stop jumping out in that you situation. Do. I'm just gonna net you. Oh my god! I'm gonna catch netted. me a free W. Yeah. No, 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 no. Call me a jellyfish because I'm getting netted. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting squeezed on my sandwich. Yeah. It's the tastiest sandwich in the sea. All right, I got time for Uno Mas. We still got 20 minutes. For two hours. I've gotta go. Alright, alright. All right. Yeah. The mom already texted me. He's like, you're gonna be home at 10, right? I'm like, uh. Alright, alright, all, right, all good. Brother just got a new job. And he has to wake up the crack of dawn. My mom is a school teacher. No, she's a diagnostician. School teacher is a much less undignified sounding yeah. job title. She's a diagnostician. She got her master's degree. Proud of that woman. I text. Anyways, oh my god. They both wake up very early. My dad and I are just <laughs> we're like lol. We wake up whenever, whenever we need to, which is so nice. I bet it is. My nine to five. It's a bit of a grind. Yeah, while, while you're watching uh, One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good, though. One Piece is so good. We're gonna I'm talk about to start it. I'm about to start it. You gotta chronicle your journey next time you're on the cast. Let, let, uh, let us know how One Piece is going for you. Get the pick up. Yeah, dude. 114. Can he do it? Ah, <laughs> I did it again, dude. All right, one more, one, one more. more. It always turns into one more. That was such a cool ending, though. That dude, my bubble play. Man, I jump when I get nervous. New fighting game player thing. How long have I been playing games in general? Fighting games also probably like what. Approaching two years, maybe? Yeah, approaching two years. You're no so, longer a new fighting game player. Which sucks, because now I can't use that excuse yeah, as much can't, anymore. You can't, suck. Uh, <laughs> you're just bad. You can't use the noob excuse anymore. True. It hurts. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, not excuse. I can just say SpongeBob is broken. Because <laughs> he is. And I'm really good at capitalizing on your... on. Uh... Dude, I can't even recover because oh, your recovery no. just like... it's. It's the size of my blimp times two. Are these honest sponge mains out here? We're uh, really cleaning up against these dirty Aprils. Come on, Aprils. Aprils very honest. She's a reporter. Yeah, she's not a fighter. She's a reporter. One more. Sure. You can't go out like that. <laughs> Okay, okay, I gotta try real hard for this one. This is my maximum effort. It's been a long day. Yeah. I've been up since 
like 7, which is early for me. For people who wake up at 5 or 6, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, my, uh... You're, uh, you're inhuman. My dad wakes up at 4 every day. Jesus Christ. 4.30, because he's in the office by 5. He works 5 to 5, uh, every day. Those are some crazy hours, though. Yeah, but he doesn't work Fridays. Okay, so he has a four-day work week? Well, he works, like, two hours Friday. Some shit like that. He has a 40-hour work week, yeah. Interesting. Those are the hours he likes to work. Because it lets him have his, have his Fridays, basically. Damn, the double dunk. Wish I could do that. I wish my company would let me do that. Big C holding us down. <laughs> no, don't parry my shit. Don't parry my shit. I'm allowed to because I'm the worst player. No, you're not getting that one. No, I was using it to delay, so I have more time to land. I see. No, it was too That would have been cool. Woo. Dude, I cannot oh. stop jumping. Oh no! That sent me so far! Stop! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Holy shit. I worked so hard to stay alive. No! Not like that! I don't want to die immediately. Get down I, tilted. How nerd. am I at 74? How'd you lose? Oh, Alright, all right. I gotta get out of here. Good games, man. Thanks that for was coming on the one. cast. Yeah, yeah. We'll for sure have you again. Hopefully, hopefully. So I can get uh, get one win out of... How many games was that? Oh, You'll have to go plenty. back and look. It was, it was plenty. Like, I'm not that concerned. 50, 60. Hey, but I got, I got one W. I'm walking away happy. That's better than uh, some of our sessions with uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. So. True, true. Although, you did get pretty messed up. You got schmixed by my Akuma on those Vlixes down at uh, TGL. Yeah, the one that, I could, that the stick didn't work? Yeah, yeah you I had did no get jump. You lost? Okay, what's more important? The fact that you beat me uh, or the fact that you lost to a guy whose stick didn't work? The Akuma mirror, though. Your stick was working well enough. Yeah. <laughs> Texas Gamers Lounge, you're awesome. Yeah. Please fix your view. Please fix yeah. your Vulixes. <laughs> Please fix your Vulixes. I want to jump and not have to punch your equipment. <laughs> every time, for, for context, every time I punch the Vulix, the fucking stick would work again. <laughs> so, like, I, if I, like, didn't move my arms, it was fine. But then if I if I moved my arms, I had to, like, punch it again. By the end, I wasn't sure who got hit more, Lane or, or my fucking cabinet. Yeah, that, that poor cabinet. That poor it's cabinet. It's been through a lot. It sure looked like it. But all right, uh, dude, one of my customers just texted me at 9.38 p.m. on a Monday night. Why do you do this to me? Thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoy uh, the first edition of Free Thinkers Versus. Yeah, I had to think about the name. It's not, down in, it's not down in my memory yet. 